Garam dan terang, dua hal yang melambangkan dampak. Garam kecil seringkali tidak terlihat mata, namun memberi rasa. Ia melarutkan dirinya hingga tak terlihat untuk memberikan dampak bagi sekelilingnya. Terang menyinarkan cahaya. Membuat keindahan terlihat dan nyata. Menyingkapkan kebenaran dan menuntun setiap orang di jalannya. Menjadi garam berarti setia dalam mengerjakan panggilan. Sekalipun tidak seorang pun melihatnya. Menjadi terang berarti berani menyuarakan kebenaran, sekalipun harus menghadapi segala resiko dan tantangan. PPK Penabur Jakarta adalah lembaga pendidikan milik Gereja Kristen Indonesia Sinode Wilayah Jawa Barat yang berdiri pada tahun 1950 dan saat ini mengelola 80 sekolah dengan lebih dari 32.000 peserta didik. Kami memiliki program pendidikan yang holistik, tidak hanya fokus pada akademik, tetapi juga pengembangan creativity, critical thinking and doing, collaboration, communication, serta penerapan nilai-nilai kristiani agar mereka tidak hanya sukses dalam hidup, tetapi juga menjadi garam dan terang bagi kemuliaan Tuhan. Perintah Tuhan untuk menjadi garam dan terang menjadi dasar kami melangkah. Membangun pendidikan Kristen unggul dalam iman, ilmu, dan pelayanan. Iman dalam Kristus menjadi landasan utama. Saya bersyukur dan bangga menjadi bagian dari keluarga besar PPK Penabur Jakarta. Tempat di mana saya berkarya, mengembangkan diri, serta bertumbuh dalam iman. BPK Penabur Jakarta memiliki organisasi yang kuat, manajemen dan budaya yang baik, serta lingkungan kerja yang menyenangkan. Ilmu kami tumbuhkan sesuai dengan talenta yang dikaruniakan Tuhan bagi mereka. Pelayanan menjadi wujud syukur atas anugerah Tuhan agar kami bisa menjadi saluran berkat bagi sesama. Melalui iman, ilmu, dan pelayanan, kami ingin melahirkan generasi yang best. Be Thought, Axel Worldwide, Share with Society, dan trust in God. Inilah tekad kami, dan semuanya berawal di sini, di BPK Penabur. Tahapan penerimaan siswa baru online BPK Penabur untuk siswa asal BPK Penabur Jakarta. Buka web penerimaan siswa baru BPK Penabur Jakarta, kemudian klik Enroll Now. Pilih Ya untuk siswa asal BPK Penabur Jakarta. Login dengan menggunakan username dan password yang diberikan oleh sekolah. Username adalah nomor SPJ siswa. Pilih registrasi calon siswa. Pilih tahun pelajaran yang sesuai. Isi data nomor telepon dan email yang aktif. Kemudian, pilih sekolah tujuan. Lakukan pembayaran formulir pendaftaran sesuai nomor virtual account yang tertera. Setelah melakukan pembayaran, klik status pembayaran untuk memastikan pembayaran yang sudah dilakukan. Kemudian, kembali ke halaman utama. Klik data calon siswa untuk melengkapi data dan upload berkas kelengkapan sesuai syarat pendaftaran. Setelah semua terisi, cetak form pendaftaran dan surat pernyataan. Tanda tangani surat pernyataan di atas materai Rp10.000. 
Kemudian, upload surat pernyataan yang telah ditandatangani di atas materai di tautan yang sudah disediakan. Selesai! Pendaftaran dapat diproses apabila berkas pendaftaran diupload lengkap sesuai dengan syarat pendaftaran. Calon siswa dinyatakan diterima apabila memenuhi syarat dan lolos seleksi penerimaan yang diadakan oleh BPK Penabur Jakarta. Terima kasih. Tahapan penerimaan siswa baru online BPK Penabur untuk siswa luar BPK Penabur Jakarta. Buka web penerimaan siswa baru BPK Penabur Jakarta, kemudian klik Enroll Now. Pilih Tidak untuk siswa luar BPK Penabur Jakarta. Lakukan registrasi alamat email dan password yang akan digunakan untuk melakukan pendaftaran. Verifikasi alamat email melalui link yang dikirim ke email yang sudah diregistrasikan. Login dengan username dan password yang sudah diverifikasi. Pilih registrasi calon siswa. Pilih tahun pelajaran yang sesuai. Isi data dan sekolah tujuan. Lakukan pembayaran formulir pendaftaran sesuai nomor virtual account yang tertera. Setelah melakukan pembayaran, klik status pembayaran untuk memastikan pembayaran yang sudah dilakukan. Kemudian kembali ke halaman utama, klik data calon siswa untuk melengkapi data dan upload berkas kelengkapan sesuai syarat pendaftaran. Setelah semua terisi, cetak form pendaftaran dan surat pernyataan. Tanda tangani surat pernyataan di atas materai Rp10.000. Kemudian, upload surat pernyataan yang telah ditandatangani di atas materai di tautan yang sudah disediakan. Selesai! Pendaftaran dapat diproses apabila berkas pendaftaran diupload lengkap sesuai dengan syarat pendaftaran. Calon siswa dinyatakan diterima apabila memenuhi syarat dan lolos seleksi penerimaan yang diadakan oleh BPK Penabur Jakarta. Terima kasih! Hello, my name is Mr. Myers, Head of School for Penabur International. I'm happy to announce that registration for Penabur International academic year 2023 and 2024 is now open. You may register your child to be a part of the joyful learning experience at Penalbury International. You may say, what is the joyful learning experience at Penalbury International? The joyful learning experience at Penalbury International gives each child the experience of learning that is not only challenging, informative, but also fun. Learning is to be a lifelong process. Learning is to be enjoyable. At Penalbury International, our teachers are trained and prepared to make the learning process a journey of joy. For when learning is fun, memories are a lifetime. So come, be a part of our family. Come join Penalbury International. Good morning, moms and dads, students of BBK Penabur Jakarta, and other audience. I hope we are all healthy and happy to be here in our talk show. It won't be long, but it will surely be packed with important information about project-based learning. Before we start, I would like to invite Ibu Emma, the Head of Education Division in BBK Penabur Jakarta, to give us a forward and lead us in prayer. Ibu Emma, please. Yeah, good morning, all dear parents. Uh, we are honored to have Mr. David Nachi to be here with us in this webinar. Project-based learning can be a fantastic way for kids to get engaged in hands-on, active learning, and 
we will know about project-based learning from Mr. David later on. Here is how parents can encourage and support their children and their children's school in project-based learning. As a parent, you may be wondering what it means when your child's teachers say they teach with projects. How much do you know about project-based learning or PJPL? In a nutshell, students learn important content through project-based learning. Of course, by investigating questions, generating original ideas, and working collaboratively to produce products that demonstrate what they have learned. This research-based method of teaching and learning is quickly gaining popularity in schools that are focused on preparing students for future challenges. Perhaps you are wondering if project-based learning will be demanding enough to help students learn what they need to know. Parents may remember projects from your own school days that were fun but not very rigorous. And we will have the webinar with Dr. David Nachi and I hope this webinar can be fruitful to all of us. Thank you and God bless. Dear parents and all participants, let us pray. Dear Almighty and ever-loving God, we glorify and thank Thee your name. You have showered us with so much blessings and your presence continuously remind us of your faithfulness and guidance. Thank you, Father God, of, for giving us the chance to be part of this webinar. Thank you for blessing us with good health and letting us join this activity through this platform. May we humbly ask you to shower our speaker, Dr. David Nachi, of your greatest inspiration so that he may share the most of his knowledge, heart and soul to his respective topics. May we also absorb the invaluable knowledge experiences and put them into practice what we may learn in this webinar. We pray that you bless all the committees in charge that they may be able to fulfill their tasks responsibly that the objectives they have set may all be achieved. Your infinite blessing would mean the success of this webinar. We, we ask this in the name of the Father, of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Ibu Emma. Now, audience, our today's guest is our dearest friend, Dr. David Nachi. He is a curriculum designer from Australia. Now, please welcome Dr. David Nachi. Hi, Dave. How are you? I'm well, Peter. Okay. Now, Dave, uh, can you introduce yourself a bit to the audience so that they know you better? Certainly, Peter. I'd love to. After graduating high school, I studied at university to become a software engineer, and I worked as a programmer for about six years. But I was really interested in education, and so I retrained to become a high school IT teacher. Then I completed my PhD in mathematics education, and I began to work at university in Australia, where I trained university students to become mathematics, science, and technology teachers. Over time, I, de I have developed a lot of knowledge and skills in school curriculum, pedagogy, and assessment. Okay, so how do you know Indonesia, Dave? Uh, it's a long story, Vita. I first came to Indonesia in 1992 as a high school exchange student. Now I find myself here in Jakarta, sharing ideas about project-based learning with the Bepeka Penabur community. I'm very enthusiastic about the future of education here in Indonesia. I keep thinking about how can we pre prepare children and youth to be their very best. Okay, so you have known Indonesia since 1992. Okay, that's, that's actually quite long. Now, 
Let's dive into our topics today, the project-based learning. So what does it mean, Dave? Does it mean that students have to uh, do crafts and arts? Many students, including the kids of parents watching now, may have experienced doing a project. But I think that project-based learning, or PJBL, is much, much more than that. In project-based learning, students are asked a question or given a challenge to solve. As they attempt to answer the question or respond to the challenge, they may have to develop new knowledge and skills related to the different school subjects. Mm. That is why we call it project-based learning. Or in Bahasa, belajar melalui proyek. But PJBL is even more than learning about maths, history, religion, or any other subject through completing the project. PJBL also develops students' abilities to think critically, be creative, to work collaboratively with their classmates, and to communicate their ideas with others. So that is why I say that project-based learning is much more than just doing a project, and mm -hmm. definitely much, much more than arts and craft. Okay, um, so if there are much more than just arts and craft, so what are the advantages or disadvantages, if there be, uh, of PJBL learning or project-based learning model compared to other models? Okay, so I think to answer your question, Vida, maybe I need to quickly describe an alternative to PJBL so that we have something to compare against. Let's describe a more traditional approach to teaching and learning in schools. This more traditional approach is based upon transmitting ideas from the teacher to the students, the students remembering the ideas, maybe after they've had some practice, and then the students being able to reproduce the ideas or perform a process sometime in the future. Maybe this sounds familiar to some of the parents watching this talk show. Some people call this approach to teaching and learning direct instruction or chalk and talk. Vita, are you starting to see some of the differences between PJBL yeah. and the more traditional approach? Yes, it's getting clearer. Uh, I can actually see the differences now. PJBL is an example of what we call situated learning when students learn about the knowledge of different subjects in a context where that knowledge is used or applied. As teachers, we try to select contexts that are related to students' lives. By doing this, we help students to see the relevance of what they are learning about, and so they become more motivated and engaged in their learning. Parents, you might be wondering what the teachers are doing during PJBL lessons and whether the learning outcomes for PJBL lessons are the same or different than when more traditional approaches are being used. Let me tell you, your child's teachers will still be working hard to help your child achieve. The teachers will continue to be the expert in the classroom creating activities and sharing their knowledge about each subject. Project-based learning actually incorporates opportunities for teachers to do explicit teaching as they respond to their students' need to learn as they complete their projects. But this teaching will be more meaningful for the students because they will see its relevance to the project that they are working on. So the learning outcomes for students are higher with PJBL. Not only are students being taught the facts, principles, and techniques of each subject, they are also learning how to apply these ideas to answer essential questions and to solve real-world problems. Okay, that's a lot. Now, uh, let's watch our students' testimony on project-based learning, their project-based learning. Oke, jadi untuk pengalaman yang saya dapatkan dalam kolaborasi project ini, 
di mana project ini itu kan kita bikin Rube Goldberg Machine untuk memberi makan ikan itu udah pasti um, pengalamannya itu kita bisa senang kumpul sama teman-teman kita jadi ngerti pemikiran masing-masing orang terhadap membuat um, machine itu gimana dari simpelnya kita jadi ngerti um, mungkin karakter-karakter teman kita juga dalam mikirin kayak gitu dalam kerjasamanya kolaborasinya itu gimana um, lalu juga um, kan kalau misalnya kita bersatu kita juga Hmm, sosialisasi kita juga jadi lebih baik gitu kan mungkin itu untuk pengalaman yang seneng untuk saya pengalaman membuat Google Robert Machine ini sangat seru karena kita sebagai murid bisa membus kreativiti kita dan percaya, kepercayaan diri kita tentang ide untuk cara membu, mem, memberi makan ikan jadi uh, ya karena itu dilakukan setiap hari Rabu dan di akhir pelajaran Ya memang agak sulit ya karena hanya dilakukan sekali seminggu enggak setiap hari tapi kita tetap bisa menjaga tetap bisa membuatnya karena kita melakukan koordinasi yang baik antar teman. Lalu untuk pembagian waktunya um, karena waktu yang diberikan untuk kolaborasi proyek itu ada di hari Rabu dan di jam akhir. Um, jadi kita juga harus maksimalin waktu itu karena waktunya hanya seminggu sekali. Misal di jam awal kita mikirin dulu ide-idenya mau kayak gimana lalu ada waktu sebentar untuk kita cari-cari lalu kita coba tuangkan dalam bentuk tulisan maupun gambar yang diberikan dalam worksheet yang sudah diberikan oleh guru untuk tantangannya ya banyak mulai dari bahan-bahannya dan juga eh, selain bahan-bahannya juga kita harus tahu bagaimana kita tahu menganalisanya kita juga harus mengerti bagaimana keluhan dari eh, teman kita kelompok Sehingga, tapi semua tantangan itu kita bisa jawab dengan cara kita tidak menyerah. Terima kasih. Untuk tantangannya paling kekurangan ide. Karena kami, kami pasti sebagai kelompok mau bikin gitu ya. Semuanya itu kan tujuannya sama, bikin go through the machine. Masalahnya kan kita mau bikinnya berbeda sama or, uh, kelompok-kelompok lain. Makanya kita harus idenya itu original, tidak boleh sama. Kan itu aja tantangannya. Okay, well, that's a spirit. They love it. The students love it. So, Dave, what do you think? Well, it's obvious that the students enjoyed it. They found it hard work, mm. and despite the challenges of COVID, I'm sure they were successful. Perhaps, Vita, we could talk a little bit more about some of the challenges the students might have faced and what they might have learned from doing the project. Right. So, uh, what else they can learn? In PGBL, students develop their critical thinking while they work on the project. Critical thinking includes obtaining and processing information and ideas. In PGBL, students do this when they ask questions, do research, and discuss ideas with other people. Critical thinkers analyze and evaluate procedures they use and the thinking that they do. Students do this in PJBL when they plan and follow instructions or when they make logical descriptions and explanations of ideas. Another important aspect of critical thinking is systematically or methodically applying knowledge and understanding to overcome challenges. And this is at the core of PJBL. Finally, when we do critical thinking, we self-reflect and we examine our thinking. In PJBL, students are supported to do this throughout their learning process. Okay, now in addition for critical thinking? Well, related to critical thinking and problem solving, PJBL can also develop students' creativity and mm. innovation skills. This is more than just being able to make creative works like drawings or music. Being creative and innovative involves generating original ideas, having the flexibility in thinking to find alternative solutions to problems or to challenges, and then being able to implement these ideas to create physical or virtual products. Okay, so they will communicate with their friends then? Of course. Communication is a really important part of PJBL. Students often work in groups with their classmates, so they're naturally going to develop 
skills in collaborating with others. These interpersonal skills will include being respectful of each other, being flexible and willing to make compromises, and sharing responsibilities and valuing the input of each member in their group. As the students answer questions and solve problems, they're doing valuable work. They share with others information about what they are doing and what they're learning. So PGHBL develops students' abilities to communicate as they use their knowledge of language to comprehend and create information in written, spoken, and visual forms, and they do this for various audiences. Okay, that sounds the students in PGBL or project-based learning classroom are working hard, right? They're working really hard, Vita. So they have to do the critical thinking, they have to communicate, they have to be creative, and uh, they have to collaborate with their friends. Exactly. But there's one other benefit that I'd like to mention, and that's development of the student's metacognition. Metacognition is their ability to set goals and then monitor their own progress. So, even though they will be working hard, they will be supported to, to develop their ability to manage themselves and their work. I should probably stop there, Vita, but I hope that you and the parents at home who are watching now know a little bit more about some of the benefits and the complexity of project-based learning. Okay, now speaking of parents, because our audience, are, they are also parents of students who are doing the project-based learning. So what is the role of parents in the project-based learning process? That's a good question, Vita, because I'm sure by now many of the parents watching this are starting to think that their kids are going to need a lot of support to be successful in project-based learning. So three important ways that I think parents can be involved in their kids' project-based learning. Okay, so there are three important ways. So what is the first? All right, the first thing, ask questions. Your kids will have been given a question or a challenge that they are working on. They will be gathering and analyzing information, planning how they will respond, and then creating and evaluating their answer or solution. One way you can help them to do this is to ask questions about their project. Some ideas for questions that you might like to ask. What's the essential question or challenge that you're working on? Why do you think answering the question or responding to the challenge is important? What are you learning about your school subjects as you do your projects? Can you describe the process that you're following as you do your project? Would you like me to listen as you try and explain a difficult idea? When do you have to complete different tasks by? What's the timeline for your project? And finally, and this is an important part of project-based learning, who are you going to share your answer or response to the project? Who are you going to share that information with and how are you going to do that? Okay, so ask lots of questions. That's how uh, parents get involved. Okay, Ibu Bapak, jadi dikepoin ya Bapak Ibu kalau anaknya sedang ngerjain project, silahkan Bapak Ibu dikepoin tuh anaknya lagi ngerjain apa, terus projectnya apa, itu ya, jadi ditanyain yang banyak sehingga anaknya juga bisa menjawab. Okay, now David, what's the second way? Okay, be ready to share your knowledge and expertise. Your kids will be learning through the project. So sometimes they might be confused or not have all the answers to their own questions. And they might not even be able to ask these questions. So be ready to share your own ideas without giving them too many answers or direction to guide them along the path of learning. Okay. So second way is to give them like input but not answer, like exactly. direct answer. Okay. Now lastly? Okay. The final thing I think you can do to help your students, your, your kids with their project 
is to help them to manage their time. You won't need to nag or pester them. Just try to be aware of what tasks, tasks they are doing in their project and then when they need to complete the tasks. Some kids may need more help with this than others. Ask about what each task involves and perhaps ask if they need your help to do the work. So these are three ways that parents can be involved in their kids' project-based learning. But maybe some parents, especially the parents of teenagers, might think something like, there is no way that I can help them with their calculus or economics or computer programming. Don't worry. Your kids are learning about this too. You don't need to give them the answers. But you can help them to become expert learners by modelling the kinds of behaviours we want them to learn. Modelling how to manage their time and resources, modelling how to be critical thinkers and to be creative, modelling how to collaborate and communicate with others. And show the general character attributes that the Bepika Penaborst group of schools encourages, including patience and persistence. Okay, so that's a lot for parents. But at the same time, it's actually probably something that they have done in their daily life while um, they are supporting their children's learning. Now, we have watched the students' testimony. Audience, now let's check the parents' version. Selamat siang, pengalaman saya sebagai orang tua yang menemani anak untuk mengerjakan project based learning selama di SDK Penabur. Saya sangat senang dan antusias uh, melihat anak saya sangat bersemangat sebab anak saya ini lebih suka mengerjakan secara nyata daripada sekedar menulis atau membaca, mengikuti pelajarannya. Jadi dia kalau ada praktek dia itu ide-idenya muncul uh, setelahnya itu dia tuh uh, kreativitasnya tuh jadi apa namanya jadi timbul dan dia jadi kayak searching Google terus dia langsung ide bikin ini bikin itu konsepnya bagaimana nah itu caranya itu sangat cocok menurut saya harapan saya kedepannya penabur bisa memfasilitasi anak-anak yang mempunyai berbagai macam karakter yang tidak sama dan mereka jadi happy dan semangat ke sekolah demikian harapan so not only the students, but the parents, they are on it as well. Now, Dave, do you have final ideas to share to parents um, so that they can get involved even more optimally in their child's project-based learning? Okay, Vita, I guess this means that we're coming to the end of my sharing about project-based learning, right? So let me summarize. PJBL is about students trying to answer a question or respond to a challenge. To do this, we do not expect that the students will have all the knowledge, understanding, or the skills that they need yet. That's the point. The question or problem provides a reason to learn something new. And I'm pretty sure that all the parents would agree that as adults, most of the new things that they learn about are because they have their own questions or challenges to respond to. PJBL is an authentic way to encourage and support learning. Along the way, students will face challenges and their teachers will be there to support them. But parents, you can provide that support too. Okay, so what are the tips for parents? Okay, I have three tips for parents as they try to help their kids with project-based learning. First, find out from your kids what their project is, including what the question or challenge is that they're working on. Second, ask, listen, and offer constructive feedback. You don't need to have all the answers, but you can offer advice about what next when your kids are stuck and they don't know how to move forward. Third, and finally, be a guide, not a doer. Your kids are learning by doing their project. You don't need to do it for them. If you do, you'll be taking away their opportunity to learn. 
Sometimes that will be hard as a parent because you might feel that with your help, they could produce a much better answer or solution to the challenge. But the result of project-based learning is only part of what matters. The process is as equally important, maybe even more important. So focus your help on guiding your kids through the process of learning. Okay, so there are three tips. So ask questions and then give them feedback and then try not to give them direct answer, but instead you become a guide. Okay, that's, that's actually a really nice tip that parents can actually do, David. Peter, thanks for the opportunity to share today. I hope I've been able to give the parents watching this talk show some ideas about how they can be involved in their kids' project-based learning. Well, we thank you for sharing the awesome knowledge on project-based learning, especially for parents. Now, audience, for your information, project-based learning has been delivered in BPK Penabur Jakarta before the government introduced Curriculum Merdeka. Next academic year of 2023-2024, BPK Penabur will deliver Curriculum Merdeka Penabur where project-based learning is one of the learning models designed to strengthen the student's noble character. To close our session, I would like to invite Ibu Karni to lead us in closing prayer. Terima kasih, Bapak Ibu, Papi Mami yang telah mengikuti webinar pada hari ini. Untuk mengakhiri webinar hari ini, mari kita satu di dalam doa. Mari kita berdoa. Tuhan Allah Bapa yang bertata dalam kerajaan surga yang mulia, Allah yang boleh kami sembah di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus, kami mengucap syukur Tuhan untuk penyertaan Tuhan di dalam kami mengikuti webinar pada hari ini, sehingga semua peralatan yang kami pakai boleh berfungsi dengan baik. Terima kasih Tuhan, di mana kami sebagai orang tua murid maupun sebagai guru di sekolah mendapatkan pembekalan bagaimana kami mendampingi Anak-anak yang Tuhan telah percayakan kepada kami ketika mereka membuat project based learning. Tuhan berkati kami semuanya supaya kami boleh bekerja sama antara orang tua dan juga bapak ibu guru di sekolah untuk mengembangkan setiap kompetensi, bakat dan talenta yang Tuhan percayakan kepada anak-anak kami sehingga kami boleh mengembangkan setiap kemampuan mereka. Terima kasih Tuhan. Untuk Mr. David yang telah menyampaikan webinar pada hari ini Sehingga kami boleh memahami tentang project based learning bagi anak-anak kami Akhirnya Tuhan kami akan mengakhiri webinar pada hari ini Kami akan melanjutkan kegiatan kami masing-masing Kiranya Tuhan memberkati kami dan juga kami berdoa Tuhan Kiranya Tuhan memberkati keluarga kami masing-masing di dalam kami melanjutkan aktivitas kami pada hari ini. Terlebih dahulu Tuhan, ampuni segala dosa serta kesalahan kami, sehingga kami layak menerima berkat-berkat Tuhan. Di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus, kami berdoa dan mengucap syukur. Amin. Terima kasih Papa Mama, Bapak Ibu semuanya. Mari kita dampingi anak-anak kita di dalam mengembangkan project based learning. Tuhan Yesus memberkati kita semuanya. Thank you, Ibu Karni. Thank you, Dr. David Nachi, for sharing awesome insights and knowledge. Um, and let's hope for the best for BBK Penabur Jakarta. Okay, now audience, thank you very much for attending the talk show. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. Goodbye.